Okay, so the first time we start to look at index laws is usually at about year 7 when we are asked to write the numbers in prime factor form. So if you use a factor tree, then you start with 45 at the top and you split it into two numbers that are factors of 45. So you can have 9 times 5, for example. Now, 5 is a prime number, so you have to stop there. Um, if you can see a non-prime number, you can factorize it until you get to primes. So 9 is 3 times 3, so we put 3s on the arms of that tree there. And so our final answers are 3 times 3 times 5, because these are prime numbers. So 45 is equal to 3 times 3 times 5. And the shortcut is to write 3 with a little 2 times 5 there. Okay. Now another technique is to use um, what I consider to be a little building method. And this time you look at a number that divides into 45. So we would uh, pick the smallest possible number. 2 does not work because that's an odd number. So you need to use 3 and see if that works. 3 does work because when you divide 3 and 45 it gives you 15 and then you repeat the process. What number divides into 15? So we start with a small number, 2 doesn't work but 3 will, so we put 3 again there and 3 divides into 15 5 times. And because all of these numbers are prime we can stop. And our final answer is 45 equals 3 times 3 times 5 which we can write as 3 squared times 5. Okay, so you can also use prime factorization to find the highest common factor. So if we find the prime factor factorization of 30, we start with 2, we go to 15, next number that divides in is 3, so that gives you 5. So 30 is 2 times 3 times 5. And if you do the same thing with 72, 2 fits into 72, 36 times. Then you can go 2 again, which gives you 18. You go 2 again, that gives you 9. Then you go 3 this time, so that gives you 3. So 72 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now the highest common factor is found by finding the common factors, so that's one common factor there, one common factor there, and so therefore the highest common factor is 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, the more standard way of finding the highest common factor is looking at factors of 30 and 72. So the factors of 30 are 1 and 30, and 2 and 15, 3 and 10, um, not 4, 5 and 6, and none in the middle. And then if you look at factors of 72, then you have 1 and 72, 2 and 36, 3 and... Uh, 24, 4 will work, mm, and 18, 5 doesn't work, 6 will work with 12, 7 won't work, 8 might, yes, 8 goes with 9, and we've covered everything else in the middle. So if you look at the common factors, they are 1, 2, 3, and 6, because they're in both. 1, 2, 3, and 6. And the highest common factor is just the largest number that's common, which is 6. Okay, so if we use prime factorization to find lowest common multiples, we find the prime factorized, factorized version first. So 30 is 2 times 3 times 5. And 72 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 
So applying our index laws, it would be 2 cubed times 3 squared. Oh, but hang on, we don't want to write things across the page. So we'll write them down here, just for reference. So this is a little power of 3 there, because 2 is multiplied by itself 3 times. And this is a little power of 2 there, because 3 is multiplied by itself twice. Okay, so to find the lowest common multiple, what you have to do is basically multiply everything together except the repeats. So these two are repeats, this is a repeat, which means, let's color code that, I can leave off one of these and one of those, but multiply everything else together. So the lowest common multiple is 2 times 3 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 3. So here's where they come from. I start with the, multi the factors of 30, that's 2 times 3 times 5, and I skip this one and I go to that one which is this 2 here from the 72. That's the next two. Whoops, next missed. That's the next two. We skip this one and we go to that last three there. And your final answer is two times three times five times uh, two times two times three. I like to keep it simple, so let's put this together. That will be ten. And then we will have a six there and another six. So what we have is. 10 times 6 times 6, which is 10 times 36, which is 360. So here's a standard approach for finding the lowest common multiple. What you have to find is multiples of 30. So that means you start with 30 and you keep going up by 30s each time. So 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, 360, etc. And then you look at the multiples of 72. So you've got 72, 144, um, 216, 288. Um, add 72 to that, that's 360. And you can stop there because you've spotted that that's the same number in both lists. So, because you want to find the lowest common multiple, the lowest common multiple, all you need to do is find the first number where it's the same. So the lowest common multiple is 360. There you go.